Nigga, I'm a 10 trade a nigga from a down the hill. Shout out to my fucking niggas in the motherfucking field. Yeah, Rose more around from Roseland. Is it the hood? Shout out to a West Pool. You know what's up, fucking the good. Racing course back to the fucking trade with my fucking niggas. Boy, you know how the fuck I skate. Pilot and productiveness is all that I fucking promote. I appreciate everybody tapping in with Flaco Santana TV. Hit that like, subscribe, share button, leave some comments, real talk. Like, honestly, you know what I'm saying? I really want y'all to slide to my Instagram, follow me on IG. I'm getting that IG turned up, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Link up with me, get up with me, you know what I'm saying? And we'll take it from there. But with that being said, man, y'all already see what's going on. I'm sure y'all done heard it already. You know what I'm saying? All the uh, media outlets and social media platforms talking about it. And what they talking about basically is Mr. Larry Hoover coming out saying, you know, in his words, he's saying, hey, I'm no longer a member leader or even an elder statesman of the gangster disciples. I want nothing to do with it now and forever. You know, a lot of people shocked by these words. But if you was in tune and you really had an understanding of certain things, you would not be so shocked by this. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people shocked by this because, you know, they don't have a proper understanding at the end of the day. You feel me? And we're going to get into that a little you know, down the line in some more videos, you know, of the proper understanding to have, you know, and why so many people shocked by this. But for the ones who not shocked, that's because they already had this understanding already, you know. But like I say, we'll get into that a little later. But the little paragraph I just showed you, that comes from, a letter that was presented to the courts, presented to the judge, you know, in Mr. Larry Hoover's case. Basically just breaking down how he see things, letting him know he understand, you know, that he was responsible for certain things, but also letting him know that, hey, I'm not responsible for the things that's going on right now. Matter of fact, I have nothing to do with what I started Matter of fact, I don't want nothing to do with what I started. And basically, I didn't remove my hand and I, I, I just stepped away, you know. So he letting the, the court know, letting the judge know, you know, his stance on, you know, um, he, him being looked at as a, a, a gang leader, an organizational leader, him uh, being, you know, uh looked at as a martyr he don't want people to look at him as a martyr they don't, he don't want people to celebrate him he don't want none of that so with that being said if you're doing something in the name of gangster disciple or larry hoover that's illegal that's not proper Mr. Larry Hoover have already put out a statement letting you know and the public know you don't have nothing to do with him. You like a lone wolf out there. You feel me? Straight up. And you need to stop it at the end of the day. Just keeping it real. You know, it's more to life than, you know, the things that you're doing young brother or sister but we'll get into that later but this right here is a picture of king shorty everybody know king shorty he's the king of the bds you feel me you know what i'm saying everybody know him you know i did a uh a video on him. i dropped a video with him and uh big low you know things of that nature y'all go check that out but i'm showing y'all this and like you you can read and you can see right now it's a this from the Chicago Sun-Times. It's a Thompson became the king of the black disciples in the 1990s, succeeding in prison Jerome Shorty Freeman. Right? 
I'm showing y'all this for a reason. Because they saying that Veil became King Veil and, you know, this, that, and the other, right? I'm showing you this for a reason because people have been asking me my opinion on what Mr. Larry Hoover did. And what I realize that people don't understand history and they must not know that to a certain degree, and I'm saying a certain degree, because this was a different situation, you know, and some, like I say, in a certain degree. And I might get into that a little later, you know, in another video. But King Shorty, he denounced being the king of black disciples. You see what it say right here in the middle? Right there in the middle, it's like in 2001, Mr. Freeman told law enforcement law enforcement authorities he retired from the gang life. He was released on parole in March 2005. So in 2001, he told the people like, look, I ain't no king of nothing no more. I ain't got nothing to do with this. That they let him out in 2005. Now, you know, some people, like I say, some people might doubt it, this, that, and the other. But see, T.O. Hardiman, who part of uh, Ceasefire, like, bro, I take my hat off the dude. He's been doing some phenomenal work throughout the city since I've been a shorty. I'm telling you, I real talk. But, bro, he didn't set up and said this. This is what King Shorty told him. He say, King Shorty, he told me. He had an awakening in prison. Hardiman said he understood all the carnage he was involved in for decades, but he got tired of seeing all the young brothers ending up in a penitentiary. Before he left the planet Earth, he wanted to make a positive difference. Mr. Freeman helped Ceasefire organize several gang summits promoting peace in Inglewood and was involved in more than 30 conflict resolution interventions, Hardiman said. Shorty Freeman life went full circle. Hardiman said at the end, he became an absolute peacemaker. So I'm just showing y'all that, you know, when King Shorty got out, you know, he out there trying to change the dynamics. He in the middle of conflicts, trying to stop the beef, trying to stop the wars. You know what I'm saying? Like real talk. So I'm just showing y'all that King Shorty, changed his life he changed his life he said he wasn't part of this no more and he tried to better his community it's a lot of brothers and sisters who do positive and who productive and, and who doing some uh, great things in their life and it's based off of you know the the tools that was given to them by great men like mr larry hoover and king shorty but they don't get the the spotlight they don't get the light it's a small percentage of people who utilize their name, uh, Mr. Larry Hoover name, King Shorty name, to do the opposite of what they really are about. And that has to change. You feel me? Straight up. So, everybody, subscribe to Flock of Santana TV. I appreciate y'all taking out y'all time. Just, you know... Tapping in with me, leave some comments, grow and develop yourself, you know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do so uh, you can better develop yourself. Everybody do what they got to do to elevate themselves, be the best person that you can be at the end of the day. Because that's all these different organizations was formed for. This is all these different organizations, you know, when it come down to it, when it boil down to it, that's all these organizations talking about being who you're supposed to be. Till next time. Love.